Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel Imrama Tarot. My name is Dipali, I'm a tarot card reader. I'm also a Reiki healer, a crystal healer and a manifestation coach. In this particular reading, we'll be focusing at your energy and your partner's energy. In case you're single, then we'll be looking at the energies of the person you are interested in or the person that is coming towards you, okay? Also guys, this reading is for the next 10 days starting from 21st to 31st May. It's a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. You do not have to forcefully fit everything in your life here. Okay. Let's see what we have for your energy. Universe, please guide us for Cancer's energy. Okay. Okay. Wow. Oh. Let's see what your partner's energies are. Cancers, partners, energies. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. So, Cancer, in your case, uh, we have Queen of Wands, we have Ace of Wands, we have Ten of Wands. So, this person could uh, be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. Let me know if that resonates. But, um, Yes, because see, in your partner's energy, we have um, we have Six of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, we have Hierophant, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we have their own card, Aries, Leo, Sag, uh, a Wands card, okay? So now, your um, reading, your energy says Queen of Wands, Ten of Wands, and Ace of Wands. You are you are going to be in a connection, okay? This person is coming towards you. This there is going to be a new beginning, and you are prepared for it. You are very well prepared for it, and um, in fact, this person is also prepared for it. Like you guys are are um, this new beginning together, okay? I'm not sure what this new beginning is going to be. Maybe a relocation. Like both of you would be relocating together to a new place and both of you are ready for it. Okay, because with this relocation and this new opportunity that is coming towards you, you guys would be handling lot of a um, lot of burdens and responsibilities and those burdens and responsibilities would uh, be more on you. Okay, not on this person, but on you. Because see, you are prepared for what is coming towards you. You are prepared, you are ready and you are, you are emitting this warmth and this determination to achieve something, to do something. And we have Ace of Wands, so a new beginning is coming towards you. And um, then we have Ten of Wands where you will be handling uh, the burdens and the responsibilities all by yourself. Okay, this person might not be... Uh, contributing a lot in while like while handling the responsibilities maybe you handle the responsibilities um, uh, you know as as a couple maybe this person is not very um, helpful but uh, yeah it's it's you who does the the more uh, thinking and the the responsibilities and you know like the hard work and everything to arrange to organize you are the one who does that um but yeah like you are the one who does the labor work basically <laughs> your person's energy okay so we have six of wands where um six of wands tells us that there is going to be some kind of um, public recognition maybe your person is being recognized uh, for the work that touch my mic maybe your person is being recognized for the work that uh, they have done okay uh, in in their office maybe they are being recognized and they are being uh, given this opportunity to relocate uh, along with the promotion like on on a higher designation and you guys are being um, given an option of relocating and they are being like the work that your partner has done they are being the center of attraction right now they are being the center of attraction right now and also there is hierophant so there is higher education um, and there is some kind of unity happening uh, 
we have six of cups so again a reunion with with college friends with school friends maybe going back to your base location where your school was um maybe 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 hanging out just with your college teachers or your college friends if you guys are living in together or like a married couple then things are fine between you guys you are happy you are the one handling most of the responsibilities and being the more responsible one and they enjoy the the limelight okay they enjoy the limelight they enjoy meeting only their friends only their set of people also uh, in case you are not in a connection with this person yeah because see you you are queen okay you are a queen you are definitely more powerful more resourceful and more responsible in this relationship they are uh, they just like to relax they just right like to relax and chill and let you do all the working um also we have ace of wands here guys so we so there is some kind of um some kind of new beginning or some kind of new creation is happening so in case if you guys are together uh, in a living uh, connection or like married you guys might be welcoming a child i'm not sure here but there is too much of change happening okay and uh, new beginnings coming towards you uh, and again uh, the responsibility of this new beginning will land on you on your shoulders in case you are not in a connection in a marriage in a live in whatever then i feel this person that is coming towards you they might um, be in the limelight like in the pub they might be a public figure they might be a public figure and um, they might be spiritually inclined and uh, aries leo sag um, taurus virgo capricorn but uh, they enjoy being in the limelight and they enjoy being the center of attraction basically you might meet this person while while on a trip with your school friends or college friends or maybe maybe this person is already a friend and when you go on this trip where all of you um, you and your friends you unite together there is a reunion happening this person might be there okay and you had the last time you met this person was way back like when you were kids and now this person is famous okay and probably on this trip something will start brewing between you two let's see what the love and connection deck has for us universe please help us with cancer's energy universe please help us with cancer's energy okay 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 universe please help us with the energy of cancer's partner universe please help us with the energy of cancer's partner universe please help us with the energy of cancer's partner okay okay the, the cards that we have for you things are not as they appear no two flowers are the same yet all are beautiful in their own way don't be misled cancer i feel this person might be might uh, you know might be portraying so if you are in a connection this person might be portraying that 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 they are very busy and they are very occupied and and you know like um they don't need to contribute or like help you um at at home in certain things and uh, i'm not sure what they are lying about not lying exactly but um i feel they are hiding something from you because see uh, either they are hiding something from you or they have put all these responsibilities on you so that you don't excel and you don't uh, leave them behind because see they know that you are good at what you do you are a queen you are supposed to be good irrespective of the gender here guys but i feel they are they are playing with your emotions they are not lying to you they are not cheating okay nothing of that sort but they are playing these 
psychological games with you okay where they are emotionally manipulating you yes things are not as they seem whatever they are telling you that they are too busy and if they are telling you that listen you are very good and you are very responsible and mature so i want you to handle it that's emotional manipulation i mean they um, appreciated you and uh, at the same time they unloaded their burden onto your shoulders right don't be misled don't let this person mislead you cancer please you you need to figure out how to um you know how to deal with this situation like in a diplomatic way but i feel this person is emotionally manipulating you no two flowers are the same yet all are beautiful in their own way okay so i feel uh, cancer this person um i mean they do appreciate you in a manipulative manner but then also there are times when they demean you in 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 a certain way where you don't even get to know that they are doing it on purpose okay so for example um you have gained weight okay and your partner tells you that uh listen this dress is not looking good on you uh, even though this color is looking good on you purple suits you amazingly but this dress is not looking good on you because you have gained weight no they know that you get conscious they they know that uh you know you you are very very it it bothers you it bothers you a lot but then also they will keep on poking that that particular issue and they will keep on triggering you every like once in a while and they will not just let go because they don't want to be, you to be confident enough they don't want you to to um to respect your own uniqueness because they know that you are so good that you are um, you are very much capable of surviving on your own and they are not you are independent you are emotionally independent and everything not emotionally independent i feel you are independent financially and uh, you know and everything but you are still dependent on them emotionally and this person knows that and that is why they take advantage of that yes and they are dependent on you for money for for the for the you know like the daily uh, chores for everything yeah because see in their energy i have you will be surprised i'm so sorry guys the vehicles you will be surprised you need not worry love is never in vain they don't they don't worry because they have you <laughs> they have you to take care of everything and that is why they don't worry they don't have to worry okay um, you will be surprised i feel um maybe in the in the next 10 days or plus minus few days you will be sitting with them and having a conversation uh, in regards to what has to be done and how should things be done in moderation like you should have you should handle half of the things and i should handle half of things whatever but you will be ha having a conversation with this person and this person will be surprised because they had never imagined that you would be coming up and you know like sitting and having a trying to have a transparent communication like a conversation i feel cancer they they manipulate you on the on the basis of emotions and the love that they have for you they make you feel that you are not good enough and you won't get anyone else and i'm the one i'm the only one who loves you and that is why you are so emotionally dependent on them and that is why they are taking advantage of you and they are taking you for granted love is their um, you know in in our in in hindi we call it ram baan okay so like a cure for everything like one fucking cure for everything it it solves every every problem and that is rambar so love is never in vain for them love is like that one solution for every problem in this particular connection and they start manipulating you by using this rambar okay. they do care for you they they do it's not that they are living um, with you just for the sake of it but then 
you know other than love they are getting so much from this connection money support someone who is working for them for free you know. so uh, that is all that i have for you can so let me know if it uh, if you liked it in case you did hit the like button comment share also if you resonated with my reading please subscribe to my channel imrama tarot i'm trying to build my channel here so you can uh, support me in whichever way possible in the form of subscription or in the form of donation whatever you are convenient with whatever you feel is right okay so uh, yeah that's all be kind stay happy see you next time bye